to. Now we've uh, got the first ones. Uh, this was the page I was talking about significantly earlier, where it's like, imagine showing this page to someone, but like, this is World of Warcraft, by the way. Oh, they'd be very confused. Yeah, so yeah. let's let's dive in. The mysteries of the first ones. While evidence, while the evidence of the first one's wisdom is all around us, we know precious few immutable facts about these progenitors. When they first walked the cosmos, rather they still do, or if the measure of their existence ended in ages long past, all are mysteries to which we have no answers. A fragment of word here, a bit of geometry there. For all the vast knowledge we brokers possess, compared to the first ones, we are like gormlings at the feet of the Winter Queen. I can say with confidence that you, Overseer, must have been as intrigued as I by the promising initial reports delivered by al Farim on his journey to locate the sepulchre of the First Ones. Now, al Farim is that big, long research document that, of course, um, we all saw. We dove into... Actually, in a video that's not came out yet. <laughs> but basically, it's just him talking about, you know, seventh potential force, the fractal, all that jazz. The fact he decoded any of the glyphs at all, uh, glyphs at all, was more progress than had been made in many, many ages of study. Though whether Zera is best translated as keystone or cornerstone remains a subtle yet ongoing debate. Sure thing, bro. Very interesting. Uh, <laughs> but sadly, as the track dragged on and their search meandered from afterlife to afterlife and through the remotest byways of the in-between, each subsequent dispatch from the Al expedition contained alarmingly less coherence. A mad scribe was how they spoke of him in the trade halls of Tazavesh. We know, or we have known, others of our kind who have surrendered their intellects to great mysteries. As, and as many cycles passed without further contact from the expedition, it grew even more certain that al was destined to become another casualty of the fractals, a madman lost to a wilderness of incongruities. The deeper I dive into the mysteries of the progenitors, the less I believe al was as mad as his cartel labeled him to be. The Al seem all too eager to discredit the research they have archived on his behalf and are quick to ascribe his disappearance to a seemingly troubled condition. While the popular opinion that the Al expedition met an unfortunate end is, I admit, the likeliest outcome of the various possible scenarios, I cannot help but wonder if this mad individual leveraged his unique perspective <laughs> and succeeded where all others had failed, locating the sepulchre of the first ones. Rather than coming back to us empty-handed, perhaps Alfarim simply cannot yet return for the sheer volume of knowledge that has been revealed to him. The truth of this matter, like so many others, remains to be discovered. So actually, if the Sepulchre of the First Ones is where Patch 9.2 is, then we might meet Alfarim. And this is very much saying that as much as Alfarim seems like a bit of a mad hatter, we should believe what is in his research document. He's perhaps a more reliable narrator than you maybe first assumed. Yeah, he's lost his marbles, but he's lost his marbles, and well, it's not that he's lost his marbles. It's that the truth he found was maddening, but still completely true. So it sounds like it's completely yeah. lost his marbles. You know, it would be like the equivalent of if you, you know, go back in time a couple hundred years and start talking about like modern society. People are like, well, what the fuck? What are you talking about? But it, you know, it's maddening. They call you insane, but it's still true because yeah. you've been there to see it. I guess it's probably similar to that, although probably significantly more cosmological and mathematical rather than going, everyone, you should hear about Twitter. 